Hi children, welcome to yet another section. Today we will learn about transversal of parallel lines. We already learned about transversal, is it? Now what do you mean by parallel lines? What do you mean by parallel lines? Parallel lines means lines which do not meet each other. That means or you can say parallel lines means non-intersecting lines. However you are extending the line also it will not meet at any point. For example, suppose the line is Suppose two lines, two lines, these two lines are parallel lines. Why we are calling it as parallel lines? Because if you are extending this line also, if you are extending this line also, it will not meet at any point, okay? It will not meet at any point or the gap, this gap, this gap remains same everywhere, okay? This gap remains same when we are extending, however you are extending the line also, it will not intersect at any point and the gap between two lines remains same. Such type of lines are called parallel lines. Parallel lines or you can say non-intersecting lines. It will not intersect at any point, okay. So parallel lines means lines which do not meet each other and one more thing, the distance between the two lines or the gap between the two lines remains same. However, you are extending the line also, the gap between the two lines remains same. Uh, for example, uh, the um, lines in your ruled notebook, the gap between the each line is same. It is, if you are extending that also, it will not intersect at any point, okay. Now, we have to study some properties, transversal of parallel lines, we have to study three properties, okay. Now, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of corresponding angles are equal. What is the first thing you have to learn? If, a par if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measure. We already learned about corresponding angles. Is it corresponding? Look at this figure. This is the transversal. L is the transversal. And which are the corresponding angles here? This is one corresponding angle, this is one corresponding angle. What is given on the statement? Each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measure. That means this angle and this angle. Suppose I am giving you angle 1 and angle 4. Angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Each pair of corresponding angles are equal. Tell me the next pair of corresponding angles. This one and this one. I am giving the name as 2 and 5. So you can say angle 2 is equal to angle 5. Each pair of corresponding, if a, if a transversal cut two parallel lines, all the pairs of corresponding angles are equal. So this angle and this angle are equal. So name it as 3 and 6. So what you can say angle 3 is equal to angle 6. Like the same way you can write this one and this one are corresponding angles. Angle 7 and 8, whatever it is, angle 7 is equal to angle 8. So, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, what is the first thing? Each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measure. We already learned corresponding angles in the last class, is it? Corresponding angles means this angle 1, angle 4 are corresponding angles. According to this property, they are equal. Like the same way, angle 2 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. They are equal. Angle 7 and angle 8 are corresponding angles. They are equal. Angle 3 and angle 6, they are corresponding angles. They are also equal. I hope it's clear. Now, the second property is, if a transversal cut two parallel lines, if a transversal cut two parallel lines, each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. Alternate interior angle, that word is important, alternate interior. So, which are the alternate interior angles here? This angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. So, according to this property, what, what you can say? Angle 1 is equal to angle 2, which is the next pair of alternate interior angle, this one and this one. Okay, so we will name it as angle 3 and angle 4. We can say angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So, which is the next property? If a transversal cut two parallel lines, each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. Alternate interior angles, okay. So, from one this side, alternate. 1 and 2 are alternate interior angles. They are equal. 
3 and 4 and alternate interior angles they are also equal. And the third property you have to learn is if a transversal cut two parallel lines then each pair of interior angles on the same side interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Supplementary means what the sum of two angles 180 degree each pair of interior angles which are the interior angles here angle 1 angle 2 are interior angles and they are on the same side also. So what you can say angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree ok. Now like the same way you can say angle 3 and angle 4 are interior angles and they are lying on the same side. So what you can say angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree. Ok, I hope all these three properties are clear. So, if a transversal cut two parallel lines, each pair of corresponding angles are equal and alternate interior angles are equal and interior angles on the same side are supplementary. Ok, now we will apply this when, when we are doing the problems. I hope this topic is clear. That is all for today. Thank you.